Hi, I'm Lindsay Ann. Today I'm going to show you how to get your batter into your cupcake pan easily and without the mess for cupcakes that bake up with that perfect little dome every time. Cupcake pans come in a variety of different sizes and materials. I typically use a standard or mini metal pan. Sometimes when I'm making my small batch recipes, I'll use these cute little silicone baking cups in the microwave or toaster oven. Um, but what you're going to want to do is just line your pan with foil or paper baking cups. And this is going to help the batter rise nicely and it's going to make it easier to remove the cupcakes from the pan once they're done baking. And they come in practically any type of design, color, to make your cupcakes look really cute. So there's a ton of different ways to fill your cupcake pan, but the universal rule is just to fill the cup about two-thirds of the way full. This is about three to four tablespoons for standard size cupcakes and one and a half tablespoons for minis. So you can do it the old-fashioned way with two spoons. And this gets a little messy. Just fill your cup with batter. Another method is to use a quarter cup measuring cup. You would use a one tablespoon measuring cup for the minis. And you just fill it almost up to the top and pour it right in your cup. Um, a little bit cleaner method is to fill a Ziploc baggie or a pastry bag with your batter and just squeeze it right in. Um, if your batter is a little runnier, your uh, a really great trick is to use a measuring cup with a spout and you just pour your batter in. Um, but my favorite method and probably the quickest, cleanest, and easiest way is to use a scoop. Scoops come in a variety of different brands and sizes. This one holds one and a half tablespoons for mini cupcakes. This one holds about three tablespoons, perfect for standard size. And you just scoop it and plop it right in. And this is going to make a uniform size of cupcakes so they bake up nice and even. And you can use a regular old ice cream scoop from the grocery store. Just make sure it has that lever on the side or it's spring loaded like this so the batter releases easily. And there you go. You have your perfectly filled cupcake pan. For more videos in my Cupcakes 101 series, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or connect with me online for more fun baking tips, recipes, and ideas. Thanks for stopping by my dollhouse bake shop. Let's get these in the oven.